There are many aspects of history that remain unexplained, many aspects of ancient history that are often overlooked. The mission of our channel is to challenge these views, to encourage critical thinking, for the subjects often at hand require our viewer to, like us, distinguish between that which has and can be explained and that which is often dismissed or claimed as the work of a civilization simply incapable of such feats. Much of ancient history remains unexplained. This is due to the fact that academia has already attested to knowing nearly all in regards to our past. And as such, anything which does not support this narrative, a narrative of ape to man and as a species having only successfully achieved a level of societal advancement only once, having developed after the last ice age and never before. Anything contradicting this tale of events is either left out of the history books or claimed as the work of a group far too primitive to have completed such impressive ancient structures. Although much of history is ignored and as such successfully obscured from mainstream discussions, the physical evidence remains and is far more difficult, if near impossible, to keep hidden. It may be easy for academics to ignore such sites, avoiding having to ever explain their origins, but these often enormous stone relics remain for all to see. And if one applies some effort into researching such curious areas of history, as do we, they will not only witness this mass conspiracy to avoid any discussion or popularization of such exhibits, but will inevitably come to similar conclusions as we have in regards to their inexplicable design, the incredible feats these structures once were, and the advancement that their creators must have attained to have ever completed said sites. However, not only ancient ruins are areas of history that remain unexplained, there also exists events documented within permitted history that remain equally as perplexing and seemingly impossible to logically explain, with the Nanking incident being one such mysterious case. On December 9, 1939, during the Second Sino-Japanese War, a battalion of Chinese soldiers was assigned to a two-mile stretch of foothills as reinforcements in the area of Nanking. The commander of the battalion, Colonel Li Fu Xian, was ordered to prevent the Japanese from getting out of the nearby city. However, several hours after these orders were given, the majority of this battalion, some 3,000 Chinese soldiers, simply vanished without a trace. What makes this disappearance all the more enigmatic is the fact that to this day, no one has been able to explain where they went no remains have ever been found, no evidence of them having abandoned the war, nothing. They simply vanished without a trace. There were simply no signs of them ever found. The remaining soldiers who escaped this fate, a group who were guarding a nearby bridge, later reported that there was no evidence of any battle having taken place, something these individuals placed so close to the disappearance would have heard and the soldiers' guns were all found stacked beside their cooking fires. The question is, what happened to this 3,000-strong group of soldiers? How could they simply vanish without a trace? It remains the most perplexing case of disappearance known to history, and as such, regardless of this event being relatively recent, is undoubtedly highly compelling.